Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. First, before we get into the video for today, I just want to try something a little different regarding instructions on how to order. Um, I've been getting a lot of new uh, subscribers and customers, so thank you and welcome everybody. Um, I do have a video out um, explaining on how to place an order, but I know that might be difficult for a lot of people to find. So I figured, let me try doing this um, in every the beginning maybe of every video where if you're new and or have any questions on how to order, um, you can pause the video right here and read my instructions. So I'll go over them quickly this time, but um, going forward, I'll just kind of show them. And if you if you need uh, help ordering, you just pause and hopefully um, this will help. So first up, if you're ever interested in purchasing anything that you see in my videos, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All this information can also be found in my description box, but if you're having trouble finding that, this is also why I'm doing it this way. Um, so you have to include a timestamp and a brief description of the item. Now, in the, in the description box, I will have the video that, show, that teaches you how to find the timestamp and the description box, okay? Um, I can show it really quickly, super quickly in this video right now. So let me get my YouTube up and let's just go to my most recent video, which uh, was yesterday, Sunday, fun day. So this is how it looks on your phone. It will look very similar on the computer. So to find the description box, it would be right here. So you just click more and here's the description box. More again, and it opens up the whole thing. So here are the instructions one more time. Here is the video showing you how to order. I have my PO box listed and then I have like all my links and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. So there's the um, comments, uh, the, the description box, okay? So you can see description. So you can just close out of that. And then um, for if you're a new customer, you have to just let me know your PayPal email, if it's different from your regular email address and your mailing address so I can make sure I um, invoice you for the shipping for the proper amount. So next you have to please check the sold list that's pinned in the comment section before emailing. It just helps me with the amount of emails that I get, um, which is a lot and being able to get through it, get through to them and get back to you guys in a timely manner. So if you're checking the sold list in the comment section, it's going to alleviate a lot of work for me and time uh, responding saying that things are sold. So really quick, where's the sold list? So as you know, at the bottom of every video, you have a comment section, which is right here. So you have the comment section, the first item pinned. So for this video, I did still available, but usually this will say sold, okay? So let me go to, a, to one that actually says sold so I'm not confusing anybody. And we'll look at it that way. So let's go to the jewelry video from last week, all right? your my um description box where you see more whoops wrong wrong thing the description box where you see more all right so there's the description box with all your information on how to order and then the comment section is literally right here comments open that up and it is the same on a computer you don't even have to open up anything you can just scroll up on the video so the sold list is right here all right, everything that's sold from the video. So you have to check that list. And when you're done watching the video, you just have to um, refresh it, go out of the video, come back in because this list will be updating with every sale. Okay. So that's that. Um, I accept PayPal. You do not have to have a PayPal account. I can still email you the invoice and you can pay with any credit card, debit card, or gift card. You can pay as a guest. 
Payment is due once you receive the invoice. I have a 48 hour payment policy that if it's not received in 48 hours, your invoice will be canceled and your items will be forfeited. All right, because I have other people that ask for the same items. So if people ask for the same items but didn't check the list or something, I'll tell them that you know payment is pending. If the person doesn't pay within 48 hours, the item is yours. Or some people read the sold list and they say, oh, I see that this is sold or it's pending. If it falls through, please send me an invoice. I'll pay right away. All right, so keep that in mind. There are other people looking for the same items. So first come, first pay. If you want it, pay. It's yours. I can ship it out immediately. Um, jewelry items start at $5 to ship. Um, I can ship international. I can hold for the current week. So you just have to pay for your items as you go throughout the week. I'll send you an invoice for the items only. Um, just let me know in the email that you would like me to hold your items so I know whether to add shipping or not to the invoice and we're not going back and forth with emails asking if I'm holding or if you want me to ship it. So let me know. Be very specific and clear. And um, then at the end of every week, I will give you a shipping invoice. All right. Um, international customers, I can hold longer than a week. I usually can hold up to three months, four months, whatever you would like, because I know the international shipping prices are very expensive. So I do work with you guys um, in that aspect, so that's not a problem. Um, and then, okay, so all sales are final. I cannot do any refunds or exchanges. Um, if anything happens with the postal system, uh, you have to contact them. Um, once I you know, package up your stuff, hand it over to the post office. It's in their hands. I have no control over what happens to your package once it's in the postal system's hands. Um, so you have to go on usps.com with your tracking number. I always give everybody a tracking number. Um, so you have to just handle things that way. And, you know, cause I really, it, it, I have no control over what happens once the postal system gets it moving uh, over to you. Okay, so this is not gonna be in every video. I just wanted to try something new since I have a lot of new customers, which I am very grateful for, and thank you and welcome. So um, in the beginning of every video, I'll probably just put this up on the screen while I'm describing what I'll be doing for the video so that um, if you do need help, you can pause it, read it, and um, you know, you'll be all set. Okay, now, okay, next order of business, I would like to um, give a shout out to a friend of mine, Paula. She has a her own um, YouTube channel called Paula's Jewelry and Auction House. I will leave this, this link to her channel in the description box, or you can just type into the search on YouTube, Paula's Jewelry and Auction House. You can find her. Please subscribe. Hit the bell to all. She just came out with a her first ever video her first ever sales video. So please check it out. Welcome to she, um, you know, is selling everything that she's showing in her video and, um, you know, her, all her information is in the description box. Email her just like you would email me for ever, um, an order request. So please check her out, subscribe, see if there's anything that you like in her video that you would like to purchase. Her prices are great. The items are awesome. Um, she will be coming out with more videos and she will also be doing her own live sales. So check her out, click that subscribe button. And then next order of business, this Thursday, March 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on my channel, will be a live jewelry auction. We are going to be welcoming back Julie with my mama and me. So please come by Thursday, March 30th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on my channel. And uh, come hang out with Julie and I for a live jewelry auction. Kyle will also be here moderating um, so we're going to have some fun, sell some jewelry, hang out, and I'll put the link to the sale in the description box so you can set your notification. So it is a new week. It is Monday. So like I said in that little um, introduction, if you would like me to hold your items for the week, please let me know in the email so that I can only invoice you for your items. 
and not invoice you for shipping. So we're going to go through this jewelry lot. Um, and I think if I hold, if I show that instructions list, I won't have to talk about instructions every time as well. So that'll kind of help with the time, the timing as well. So we're going to go through some jewelry today. This is a, this is part of a very large jewelry lot that I had purchased. So I have gone through all of this already. Um, but let's see, uh, cause you know, I have so many jewelry lots ready to be shown in videos that I do not even remember what's in these lots anymore. So it's like an unboxing. <laughs> okay. So let's start, let's see what this blue, blue one is here. Bring you guys kind of over here. Okay. Let's get this hair out of here first. All right, so this looks like Mother of Pearl. Am I a little close? This looks like Mother of Pearl and Dyed Mother of Pearl. You got the blue and the white. And it has a screw barrel clasp. Very pretty. I do not see any makers on it or any type of markings. The total length, the total length is 30, I'm sorry, 23 and a half inches total length is very beautiful and I will do that for $12. Okay, I see two mates, I see a mate right here. These are really great for the summer. These are like a straw basket weave with gold tone. Large earrings, they look like they're in very good condition. We'll do those for $4. We have these dangly rhinestones. This one looks like it may have either been replaced or something's going on with the glue. Um, they are post backs, so I'll just do these for $2. We have a little Alex and Ani style bracelet here with a turtle and a little starfish. Um, it actually opens up, so it's not really like Alex and Ani. So let's um, get you guys a measurement on that. It is a seven inch bracelet and I'll do that for $4. I think we're a little, there we go, that might be better. All right, we have a silver tone and purple rhinestone cross necklace, I mean bracelet. Very Brighton-esque, but it is not Brighton. How do I, okay, it's magnetic. It's very pretty. It doesn't have any maker marks. It's in very good condition. It is a seven inch bracelet. And I will do this for $6. That's really pretty. We have a little set of bangles here. These are all silver tone. Very good condition with the um, silver glitter. There are six of them. They are a seven and a half inch circumference. And I'll do these for five. We have some green heart earrings with a lever back, gold tone. These are very cute. They're in very good condition. We'll do those for $4. Okay, we have one earring there. We'll hold on to that. Here is a blue and clear rhinestone necklace with gold tone. Very pretty. I think they're just acrylic um, rhinestones. No maker mark, very, very, very pretty, very good condition. Nine inch drop, so that's an 18 inch necklace. And I'll do that for $6. Looks like we have a little set here, so let's open this up. And this one. These, oh, these do have a mark. So these are SAL. So this is a Swarovski brand, SAL. 
So these are really pretty. These are a clip-on. Very pretty, all different color rhinestones. So they are crystals with the faux pearl drop gold tone. Um, so I will do, I'll sell these separate in case someone doesn't want both. So for the earrings, I'll do um, $5. And then we have, I don't, I don't think this is the matching bracelet because these are acrylic. I mean, it matches, but I don't think that they are meant for each other because even the faux pearls, different color. All right, so then this is just a fashion, you know, costume bracelet. It's still in very good condition, but these um, are acrylic. So it is a seven inch bracelet and I will do that for five. All right, so this is also acrylic. Yeah, it is very pretty though. It's kind of like a purple splatter. Actually, they might be, they might be real. They do feel cold. They might be a, like a halite type of stone with the gold tone in between. It is like a little, um, one of these little push closures. I'm just gonna check it for any markings. If it says maybe 14K or anything, but I don't see, I don't, excuse me, I don't see that. So while I have it open, I'll give you a total length measurement. It is 15 and a half inches, 15 and a half total inches, and we'll do that for five. Um, okay, this is a little earring. Oh, I see the mate. Okay, so this is silver tone, kind of like a nice little leaf design. It's like a half a hoop. Oh no, it it is a hoop, but they're broken. So they're both broken. See, see the edges right here? All right, so that means there's two more of these pieces in the bag somewhere. All right, so those will be a pass. Here is a gold tone bangle. I see it says made in China on a sticker in there. It's got really pretty rhinestones, very good condition. It is an eight inch circumference and we'll do that for five. We have a little um, snowflake. Oh, this is a JJ. JJ right there. Made in USA. We'll do that for $4. Here's a little earring we'll hang on to. This is a little gold tone and clear stone bracelet. It is adjustable. You just pull these edges here. So it is can go very large. So we'll do that one for five. I have a little clip on we'll hang on to for the mate. Here is a dyed um, mother of pearl shell. Get them all to lay flat so you can see it. There we go. Very pretty leaf carved mother dyed mother of pearl. This tip looks like it may be broken off a little bit, but the rest look okay. You got the screw barrel clasp. And let's get you guys a total measurement. It is 18 inches, 18 total inches, and I'll do that for five. And I do have all the mates to the earrings, so we're just gonna put them to the side until we get to them. Uh, this is a tiger's eye heart. I think that says something on the bail, let's see. What do you say? It's weird, I don't know. It looks like an S and an O, but not sure. 
Let's check out the chain. It does say something on the chain as well. Uh, 120th 14K gold filled. So it's very pretty. I'm not so sure that the chain goes with the pendant. The pendant could be gold, you guys. It kind of looks like it could be gold. Oh, nope. I'm wrong. It's magnetic. So let's give a measurement. It's a 16 inch necklace and I will do this for uh, $8. Let's do a focus check, $8. All right, we have a cute little ring here. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to be holding something or it's just, just an open ring. Ring. <laughs> it is about a six and a quarter and I'll do that for $3. Here's mate, mated earrings. So these just feel like acrylic. They're, they're kind of like a dark gray. And silver tone, we'll do those for $4. And then we have this bag here that looks like it might be all clip-ons, let's see. All right, so let's get the mates that I see first. These are a blue enamel and gold tone basket weave clip-on. I don't see a maker mark. We'll do those for $3. We have these. Whoops, as it flies out of my hands. These look like bone. Um, screw backs. We'll do those for $3. Green, little wavy, gold tone enamel. These are for pierced ears. We'll do those for $3. These I think might be Avon. I have seen these before. And I have seen a necklace, the matching set. They're not marked, these are acrylic. They could be Lucite. I believe they are Avon, uh, so uh, we'll do those for $4. I would put brand new backs on them. These are really fun. These look like they're Lucite. There's like a little bubble in the plastic right there. These are really cool. These actually might be newer. Either way, I love the color, $4. Here are a pair of red metal enamel earrings, little hoops. We'll do those for $3. We have these. Um, these are a little bit worn, so I'll only do those for a dollar. And we have these. These are actually very pretty. These are just a um, type of plastic, maybe a celluloid even. They're very lightweight. Could be a celluloid, they're a little clip-on. We'll do those for three dollars. We have a brooch in here. That says Newbridge EPNs 41. Not really sure. I don't think that this would be sterling, but we can check. Oh, sorry, that was a ugly sound. All right, and then while we wait for the color change, if there is any, I'm just gonna grab my makeup rounds. I'm gonna have to buy more of these because I'm almost out. Okay, oh, it is, it is sterling. Look at that, it changed blue. See, and to me, that doesn't even look like it. All right, see that? That's that's why you gotta check everything just to be sure. So now I'm interested in finding out a little bit more about this. So we're gonna go on eBay and we're gonna write, type in new bridge EPNs brooch. 
Okay, so we have one selling for about nine, about ten dollars, about twenty-one dollars. That one is selling for a lot more. Let's see if there are any um, solds. One sold for about $20 from Australia, and then they make um, silverware. Okay, so I would say about between like 10 and 20, maybe $30. This one's very large. It has some scratching on it. Um, I'll do it for 15, how's that? Um, we have these little guys. These are a silver tone and rhinestone little puffy heart. It even goes all the way onto the back. I will put new backs on them and I'll do these for four dollars. We have these earrings. These are a gold tone tassel with the rhinestones around the top. Do those for four. I see a little ring. This one might be stainless steel. It doesn't say anything on the inside, but I, yeah, it's definitely not precious metal, but it has these really pretty rhinestones on the front. We can test those. Let's turn on Pressy, and while we do that, we can measure the ring. This probably feels like this is probably a seven. Yeah. So it is a wider band. So I would consider it to be a seven just to be safe because you don't want it too tight. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's bring Pressy over, Pressy the Presidium and see if these stones are anything. Okay. I think they might just be, oops, a glass, because they did move a little bit in the glass line. Size seven, we will do this for $8. It's in very good condition. All right, we have a little neon pink, love it. Stretchy bracelet with a gunmetal cross on it. So we'll do that for $2. We have another cross item. This, it does say something on the back. That's the front. Let me turn Pressy back on so we will test those stones also. It does say 925 on the cross. To me, it doesn't really look like 925, but oh yeah, no. It's magnetic, so it's probably a faker. Um. And the, the necklace says 18 karat gold plated. These are just glass. And, but it's very pretty. It's in very good condition. It's a 16 inch necklace. And I'll do that for $6. It's the back of an earring. Here's a little owl watch necklace. I can change the battery for you guys. It seems like it's in really good shape. It's like an antique silver tone. It is a 14 inch drop, 14 inch drop. And I'll do that for six, six dollars. <coughs> Let's grab some more. We'll see if we can get through this whole bag. Otherwise we will finish on Wednesday. We have a couple earrings that we'll hold off on. I found these two. These are a like a purple marbled um, acrylic post back. They are very long. We'll do those for $4. Handmade Wendell August. Oh, it's pretty. Is that a pine cone? A pine cone. I don't know anything about that brand, so let's look it up. Good old eBay to the rescue. It is Wendell August. I don't know what that is. 
at the end of Wendell keychain. Okay, there we go. So they're selling for about 15 bucks. They're listed for about that much. So I will sell this one for $8. Very good condition. Ooh, that's pretty. What does that say? Where's my loop? NVC. I'm not sure if that's maybe a uh, Avon brand. I don't know. There's no other markings, but it does have a very long um, extender. It is a 16 inch necklace. Very good condition. We will do that for um, $6. Alrighty. Here is a very, uh, very nice pair of gold tone, like triple hoops, post back. Very nice, very, very nice condition, $4. Looks like it might be a multi-strand necklace. Okay, if you would get untangled, that would be very nice of you. There we go. Okay, so it is a two-strand necklace, gold tone with an extender, and it's got this little like opalite stone in there very pretty it does have a very long extender without the extender the first drop is at eight inches and then nine inches on the drop oh it is marked look it's lc so that's liz claiborne all right so we'll do that for five dollars oops we have another necklace right here this is gold tone and it's got the evil eye. No maker marks. It does have an extension. Um, it is a nine and a half inch drop. The chain does have a couple little kinks in it. We'll just do that for $3. Ooh, look at that clip on. We'll hang on to that for the mate. And that one, here's a nice stretchy bracelet with these uh, gold tone and silver tone chevrons. I don't see any maker marks. Very nice condition, $5. Here is a silver tone leaf bracelet. This is very pretty with a little caged pearl. Don't see any maker marks. It has a fold over clasp. It's seven and a half inches, and that'll be $5. Oh, here's this mate. So these are a silver tone with Aurora Borealis coated rhinestones, chandelier earrings, post back, no maker marks, $4. P31, know the truth, live the truth. Unexpected strength. These look like uh, howlite beads. It is adjustable. It was $14.99. I'm going to ask $5. Oh, look at this. Hold on, let me get this out of here first. How the heck did you get on here? Look at that. It's in the clasp of the brooch. How does that happen? How do I even open it to get it out? Oh, geez. All right, we might have to skip on this for now. 
I can't even turn. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I mean, look at that. So you'll get both, how about that? So you have a little <laughs> propeller, a gold tone brooch, and you get this connected. It is a silver tone, black and clear rhinestone necklace, and we'll do both for $5. <laughs> All right, so these are silver tone post earrings. Come on. Okay, I just broke it. Pass on those. Never mind. Up next, we have a necklace. This does not look like it has a maker mark. It is a gunmetal. With these danglies. And it's kind of like a beige like a dark beigey gray. These are kind of like, um, have like a brownish hue. These are blue. This is very pretty. It's in very good condition. It's very long. However, you can use these links to make it shorter if you would like, because this is very long. It is a 12 inch drop and it has an extender. So let's do that for $8. It's all acrylic. And let's grab some more. Okay. Here's a little maybe rose gold, eh, gold tone braided bangle. This is an eight inch circumference, $3. This is a pretty little bracelet. Oh, this is a Leah Sophia. It's kind of like a taupe gray bracelet fold over clasp it has a couple little light scratches it does look like it's smaller yeah it's a six inch six inch four dollars this is very pretty this is gold tone these are glass and then look at this one how pretty is that Awesome. Let's get a measurement. It's an eight and a half inch drop. And we're gonna do that for $8. Beautiful for the spring and summer. Here is a wide slinky silver tone chain. I do not think that it is sterling. There are no markings. Of course, it's not magnetic. Um, it has a lobster clasp. Let's give you guys a full total measurement. 18 inches. And I'll do that for $6. Uh-oh, I think this is broken. Because here's the clasp. Napier. So I think somebody added these chains on, I mean these charms on here they are what do they say on the back what do you say I do not know what that says let's see if any of the others have ones that we can see probably not that one Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, I can't see anything. Let me try to look. Nope, can't read it. So, I'm not sure what to do. This one's missing an arm. Maybe this one I can read? No. 
how about we do a Google Lens search? So let's get some of these laid out. And we're going to go to the Google app, which is right there. Then you press this button that looks like a little camera. And then you're going to do search with camera. And it looks like that. We're go I know it's very close, so let me just get the picture and then we will I'll show you. Okay. Oh, ambush. That kind of looked like what it said on the back. So let's see, ambush charms, ambush charm, let's just do ambush charms. Okay, well that didn't work. All right, well, the necklace is broken. I mean, it might be able to be put back together, I don't know. But you got all these um, articulated charms on it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do $20 for the whole thing, okay? And these are heavy, they might be metal. Okay, 20 bucks, you get it all. Here's a little earring we can hold on to for now. Here is a, always check these for sterling, you guys. See, that's not magnetic. I don't think this is sterling. It's seven inches, four bucks. This looks pretty. This is bone, so it's kind of like a, it's just a drawing. It's not scrimshaw, I don't think. No, it might be. These look like nephrite. No maker mark. Very pretty, you got some uh, um, mother of pearl on there. Then you have the bone, very pretty. Very unique, 18 inch necklace. We'll do that for $10. Here's a teeny little bracelet. This is probably glass. Actually, it might be acrylic, it's not cold at all. Yeah, it's a, probably acrylic, it's an Avon. Gold tone, it's very pretty, open it like so. It's probably only about a five or a six. Yeah, six inches, we'll do that for $5. Oh, that's broken, that's a broken uh, clip-on, so that's gonna be a pass. Oh, here's the other one. So we will, I'll do both for a dollar. Here's the non-broken one. There's no maker mark. So do both for a dollar. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna get through this bag. I'm not even halfway through. <laughs> okay, so this one is a screw barrel, barrel clasp. You got pearls on here. These are glass, you got some opalite. Very pretty. Okay, screw barrel clasp. It's kind of like a gold tone, like a light gold tone color. It's a 17 inch drop. And we're gonna do that for $5. We'll go probably about another 15 minutes or so. This is definitely vintage screw barrel clasp. Look at all these natural stones, gorgeous. We have some agate, we have some, that's probably amethyst, carnelian, maybe some jade, gorgeous. Let's turn on Pressy and check this out for real. But they're definitely um, real stone. Let's give you guys a total length measurement on this. 
It is 23 total inches. All right, let's bring Pressy on over here. Pressy the Presidium. And let's try, let's check these and make sure that they are jade or nephrite. Yep. So we got the jade. This is probably an amethyst. Oh. Uh, yeah, I would say it's more in the amethyst line. Um, I don't know if carnelian comes up on this or where it would come up on the gem tester, but that's definitely... Okay, so we definitely got some real stones here. Very pretty. I will do this for $15. And you know what's really nice about the natural stone necklaces? You wear them during the summer. They'll keep you cool because that, that stone will always be cool. All right, so we'll hold on to that for a mate. Here is a glass. Yep. This may be um, like a larger bracelet, maybe even an anklet. Yeah, this is nine inches. We'll do that for $5. I have this. This is very pretty. This is gold tone. Reminds me of Kendra Scott. Oh, there is something marked on here. So let's see. Hold on, it's rolling. JCMCZ Taiwan. So that is a branded piece of jewelry with CZs, very pretty. This could be gold plated. Um, adjustable bracelet, and we'll do that for $6. This is a little heart, religious heart. No markings. box chain, silver tone. It's a 24 inch chain and we'll do that for $5. All right, let's grab some more. Oops, I dropped something. Let me get that. Okay. This is what I dropped. This is a little candle, got a little uh, holly and poinsettia as well. This is a Jerry's. So we'll do $5 on that. We'll hold off on that for that mate. We have a little stretchy gold tone, three row rhinestone bracelet, $4. This is pretty, look at this. You have all these stones. Ooh, that purple looks like it might be a purple dahlia turquoise. Got some red jasper. Some moss agate, some unikite. I don't know what that light blue is. Maybe a quartz, some halite. Very, very pretty. Oops. So this is a little toggle style bracelet. There is a smaller setting. The bigger setting is at eight inches, so I'm gonna guess the smaller setting is seven inches. Let's do that for $10. All right, that earring we'll hold off on for the mate. I don't see any maker marks on this one. This is some faux pearl and clear rhinestones, silver tone brooch, $4. Here's another little point set of brooch clear stones. This one's not marked. Gold tone, very pretty, $5. We have some tiger eye. Okay, these are not real. These are acrylic. <laughs> acrylic, but pretty, $3. 
Here is a gold tone leaf brooch. This is in very good condition. No maker marks, $5. Look at this big mama. Beautiful for the summer. Wear this with a bathing suit or a sundress. How gorgeous. This is a mother of pearl shell with white seed beads and a toggle closure. Very pretty. This is so pretty. Is that, what is that? That might be just part of the seed bead. And we have a seven and a half inch drop. That's a big one, you guys. Let's do that for $8. Gorgeous. Ooh, look at this. This is glass. It is gorgeous. Again, this would be so pretty and keep you nice and cool during the summer. Oh, it looks like it has a little crack. Let's take a look at that closer. It does go all the way around, okay. It is a seven and a half inch. It is very heavy. Since it has that crack though, I will do um, just $5, unless this is definitely like a $10 and up piece. We have a gold tone toggle bracelet with these really pretty acrylic cabochons in all different little like browns and amber colors. I don't see any maker mark. It's in pretty good condition. I like it for my earth tone ladies that like the earth tones. It is a, I would put it at about six and a half. We'll do that for $5. Ooh, look at this. We have a snake bracelet. It is mesh. Let me see if I can get it on. So you can kind of bend it to go around your wrist. Very cute. I like snake jewelry. I do not like snakes in real life. <laughs> Same with spiders. No spideys for me, but spider jewelry is cool. All right, so this little guy can, you know, kind of mold to your wrist. So we'll do that for $6. We have two little gold tone rings. They have uh, clear rhinestones in them. Seven and a quarter, we'll do that for $4. And this one, seven and a half, $4. I see another ring, so let's do that one. This is also gold tone with one single rhinestone. This is seven and a quarter, $4. We have a matching pair of earrings. These actually would go with this, I think. Right? That would match. So these are lever backs. And we'll do those for $4. We have a little um, feather or leaf brooch. It's kind of like an antique silver tone with kind of like a marcasite style rhinestone. We'll do that for five. Here's an earring that needs a mate. Okay, we're gonna do, I don't know why my printer is going off. There's no paper in it. <laughs> and I definitely didn't print anything, so I just shut it off. All right, let's do this last um, little pile and then we will call it a day for today. So here's this other earring. Okay. Very pretty, gold tone, and we'll do those for $4. I have, look at all these. So I have four, at least as far as I can see, Four Little Mermaid tack pins from Disney. I will do them for $5 a piece. We have a new on the card. Gold tone hoops. You can see me, la la la. $5. 
Sam and Libby. Pink bangle. Looks like there's a little mark there. Other than that, we're okay. It's gold tone. It's got some weight to it. It's very substantial. It is a seven inch bangle, um, $5. We have a pair of screw back and clip on pearl button earrings. These are pretty. No maker marks, $4. We have a little Noah's Ark brooch. No markings, $5. 2013 Disney Collector Pin, $5. Disney uh, Mickey Mouse Bookmark, $5. Grandmas are Guardian Angels, very sweet, $5. The Snoopy Bicentennial Collection pin, a uh, brooch, $5. This is pretty. Gold tone with these really pretty blue rhinestones, $5. Silver tone blue cabochon, very pretty. Oh, I see a mark. Sarah Coventry. It's a fold over clasp, but very good condition. It is a six and a half inch bracelet, six dollars. Oh, that's an earring we'll hold on to. Disney Studios uh, tack pin, five dollars. We have this pretty gold tone, like crisscross little cuff here. It is six and a half. It does, you know, it's a little pliable to get your wrist in there, $5. We have, it looks like new in the package, pair of earrings. They are silver tone, nice size. And I, I always love this kind of closure, very easy. Don't need to worry about losing a back, $4. And then we have this guy that we'll hang on to for the mate next time. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video. Please make sure you check the sold list in the comment section before you email me. Refresh the video so you see the most up-to-date list. Give me that thumbs up and subscribe right here if you haven't already. It's free. Make sure you click the bell to all so you're notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for, again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.